Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run through the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it will be turning quite a bit more unsettled this upcoming week. Again nothing too ridiculous but there will be more widespread precipitation especially in the north and west and quite up and down temperatures as well. We'll also have a look at the longer range because, of course, we've got a sudden stratospheric warming, which is pretty much imminent within the next few days. And we're keeping an eye on any of those impacts coming through into the troposphere and starting to see those on the latest runs. So we'll have to keep an eye on are we going to be seeing any of those effects coming through? I do suspect we'll start to see some real effects in the next few days, probably the next week as well. Uh, and then, of course, the time frame for any effects affecting us will probably be the end of the month into early March. We'll have a run through the latest longer range charts and the ensembles to see if there are any hints of any blocked or even colder weather starting to properly appear. So do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on Twitter as well the links in the description. So if you start on the live radar you can see as I'm recording this around 2 p.m it is pretty much bone dry out there. There is some thicker cloud for quite a few um, but other areas are seeing a bit of sunshine and with a southerly wind it's pretty mild today in general. You see those two these temperatures are generally uh, in those sort of blues to lighter yellows again quite widely high high single digits to low teens with top temperature being around that 11 to 13 degree mark so pretty mild for early february but in the grand scheme not all too mild at all still feeling a bit chilly out there but not too bad compared to what we can see this time of year but it is yeah really quite mild from head to toe of the British Isles, areas in northern Scotland seeing temperatures into double digits, which is quite unusual for this time of year. You know, we'd expect those temperatures to be a good five degrees cooler, if not uh, cooler than that. Um, but it will be turning cooler this week with more of a west to northwesterly flow pushing in. So if you go over to the UKV and have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days, and you can see it's a generally dry day today, a few patches of cloud uh, producing some drizzle here or there, but it is generally pretty decent. There will be some breaks in the cloud, but central areas uh, are going to be probably lingering onto that cloud more. And in tomorrow, it's a very similar day, but even more sunshine about um, with very little cloud. Some areas lingering a bit, but most areas not too much. And as we head into Tuesday, more clouds spreading in from the west and southwest with a few showers popping up within those, which could give a bit of rain in the west but still nothing too major for tuesday with generally again sunny in the south and the east a bit cloudy further northwards and a few showers as i said starting to pop up as we head into wednesday though a weather front starts to push in it gives quite a bit of widespread rain in the north and west nothing too intense as and as it progresses southwards and eastwards it does disintegrate but more precipitation coming in behind it and a bit more of a vigorous widespread weather front there through wednesday into thursday giving more of a widespread soaking again nothing too significant but quite a contrast to what we've had recently and you can see a lot more showers and a bit of snow there over the higher ground of scotland so nothing crazy coming towards the end of this week but perhaps slightly cooler and turning more unsettled as well with most areas seeing some rain but not too many areas seeing anything too significant at all if you put on the max temperatures you can see this afternoon it's widely high single digits to low teens top temperature as i said 10 to around 12 degrees maybe slightly higher with the fern effect in a few spots overnight tonight not dropping down all too much maybe low single digits in the coolest spots and by tomorrow afternoon again temperatures up to around that 10 to 12 degree mark in the south really quite mild Overnight, though, temperatures do drop down a little bit lower, mid to low single digits. And into Tuesday afternoon, again, a very mild day, 10 to 14 degrees there widely. So it's actually pretty incredibly mild. Um, and yeah, could be seeing maybe 15 degrees in a few spots with a bit more of a west to southwesterly flow there. Beyond that, into Wednesday, slightly cooler air mass pushing in, but still hanging on to that mild around the southeast, maybe 10 to 12 degrees there, much cooler further northwards and westwards, and those cooler weather generally pushes in, oscillating between milder and cooler sectors. So some areas will see frosts and see some colder weather, perhaps some snow over the higher ground, but mostly it's going to be generally average to above average for many areas. And as I said, more cloud and more precipitation coming in so yes it will be mild at times but probably won't feel all too mild with thicker cloud and areas of rain 
So if you now have a look at the longer range, if we do start by going over to the zonal mean winds, there's something I did say in yesterday's video that we'll be having a look at most days, as it is a great way to watch the sudden stratospheric warming propagate through the atmosphere. So you can see pretty abundant here, right at the top of the atmosphere, around that 1 to 10 HPA level, a huge, um, huge area of negative zonal mean winds off the scale really here uh, for 60 degrees north uh, and you can see it remains very strong this uh, negative anomaly in the stratosphere so yeah the anomalies on the right to the actual uh, wind speeds on the left you can see huge negative anomaly mains uh, remains for the foreseeable future so the polar vortex not re-strengthening at all but if we're going to see any impacts at the surface we need to see that 300 500 hpa level weaken significantly as well and you can see the next week to 10 days remaining fairly neutral to slightly stronger than what we'd expect but there are signs of it weakening a little bit through the last few days of february to perhaps slightly negative territory minus maybe five meters per second slower than usual again that wouldn't do anything too significant but perhaps a little bit of blocking um, as a result of that but we need to see that propagate a bit more uh, a bit more to see any major impacts so still keeping an eye on how this does move through the atmosphere, if it does at all, which if you're looking for cold weather, you'd want it to. Um, definitely signs of it perhaps starting to influence the troposphere right at the end of this run. But again, nothing too significant at this stage. We just need to keep an eye on if it does propagate through the atmosphere, if we do see these darker blues getting anywhere towards the surface. So that will be our first indicator of the potential for colder more blocked conditions starting to prevail so of course we'll keep an update of this most days and we have to watch as these uh, these blues do propagate through the atmosphere now if you look at the raw gfs uh, temp uh pressure chart sorry now for the six o'clock run you can see at the moment generally a uh, generally high pressure over the top of us a bit of a southerly flow and that's why it's generally quite mild the next few days more of a westerly flow coming in this week, so that's why it's going to be oscillating a bit more between cooler and wetter conditions, or cooler and wetter and uh, slightly warmer and drier conditions. But high pressure always hanging on in the south, and that's why it'll always be slightly milder and slightly drier further southwards. Into the longer term, high pressure actually does stay fairly in control and not really seeing any impacts from the sudden stratospheric warming here as of yet. And in the longer term, actually going quite unsettled and quite westerly. That has been a theme we have been seeing that there is the potential for quite a bit of an unsettled stormy period through the middle to end of the month prior to any sudden stratospheric warming impacts. Um, because, of course, yes, uh, sudden stratospheric warming could give some major blocking, but we're not expecting it for another number of weeks, at least two weeks from now. So till then, we can still see some quite unsettled, westerly, mild, windy weather. And that's what we could be seeing here from the GFS. GFS definitely showing more of a westerly influence. But to be honest, it has shown that for a number of days. And actually, uh, a number of weeks trying to push in some more westerly influence. But the higher pressure that we've had recently um, that, ha that has just lingered has continued to just stay strong. So we'll have to see exactly what happens. But I'd probably sway towards, towards this high pressure making more of an influence just because of what we've seen over the last few weeks but there is the chance of more of a westerly flow pushing in in the longer term if you look at the gm run see how that does compare again high pressure over the top of us at the moment more of a westerly influence pushing in but always high pressure hanging on right towards day 10 yes a westerly flow coming in but still high pressure dominating over us and to our south uh, giving us quite a mild flow but still oscillating with slightly cooler air masses at times and probably pretty dry really in the the south still probably seeing cooler and wetter spells at times but are more on the side of drier and milder if you compare to the ecmwf again um, a high pressure system over the top of us at the moment more of a westerly flow coming in but still high pressure dominating most of the time and right at the end pretty much the definition of a flat westerly high pressure in the south lower pressure in the north but not really deviating all too much um, and yeah not not particularly uh not particularly conductive of any cold weather at all with this with quite a strong westerly flow would be cooler in the north milder in the south wetter in the north and drier in the south as well uh, a typical zonal pattern here and you, again you put on those upper air temperatures you can see cooler in the north there minus five isotherm coming in in the south the zero degree so maybe even the five degree isotherm coming in uh, quite a big split uh, but again pretty much average uh, sort of westerly flow coming in there so again, the main models not really seeing any influence from the 
SSW as of yet. Um, but of course, it is still early days, and we'll have to see what happens. Regardless, the runs are looking quite dry in the south, quite mild overall, perhaps some cooler, wetter spells in the north, but high pressure continues to try and hold on. Now, if you finish by looking at the ensembles, you can see generally above average and pretty dry for London over the course of the next week to 10 days. Last few days, trending more towards average, still generally dry, but some cold runs appearing, and we have seen that trend over the last few days, but nothing really coming of that as yet. No main cluster really appearing there, just the potential really of colder weather appearing. Again, could be due to the MGO phase, or could be subtle hints of the SSW. We'll just have to see with that, but the general trend is mild and dry. Again, look at the sea level pressure, generally all above 1,020 millibars, so that is generally higher pressure, dominating most of the time. There will be rain, but again, nothing too significant, and mostly in the north. Again, look at the ECMWF ensembles, definitely on the mild side and the dry side here. Again, a few isolated cold runs in the longer term, but the majority are average to above average, so really, really, really no signal here from the ECMWF ensembles. So yes, could be some impact coming from the SSW, but not looking imminent at all in the next week to two weeks. It is looking likely to remain fairly mild, fairly dry in the south, slightly more unsettled further northwards, but again, nothing too ridiculous. A pretty dry um, and mild next couple of weeks are coming foremost. So if you have enjoyed these sort of 10 degree days with generally um, drier conditions, that is going to be continuing for the next week or two. But of course, we can't get too complacent because that SSW could force us back into proper wintry conditions by the end of the month, into the start of March. But of course, we will have to see what happens with that. As I said, early days, but we're not seeing any significant signs of anything really at this stage. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.